Fitness Coaching with Heidi M. It's almost Christmas and uh, today on uh, Greatness Coaching with Heidi M. We are discussing the December blues. Heidi, hello. Hey, how are you doing, Eon? I'm good. I'm feeling the Christmas spirit. And you? That's it. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Absolutely. It's a wonderful time. It is, as that song uh, is singing, um, it is the most wonderful time of the year, isn't it? Not for everybody. Um, unfortunately, not for everybody. So many um, <clears throat> of, of our, uh, especially older people, uh, experience uh, uh, something called a, a Christmas depression and a, a very big loneliness over this time of year. Um, and uh, that is because of very high expectations that people generally have for this time of year. Uh, perfect and happy families and and luxurious celebrations and luxurious gifts. But we're not all of us uh, able to live up to these ideals. And uh, especially if you are alone, uh, you used to have your partner or your husband or your wife or children in the house. And now suddenly that person has passed on or they are no longer living with you. Uh, there may have been strife. Um, uh, in the family or uh, 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 conflict with friends. And that leaves uh, so many people alone and feeling feelings of grief and sadness. Uh, people experience uh, isolation and uh, there are so many financial pressures. And, you know, Eon, I think even this year it might, those financial issues and the, the isolation might be even worse yeah. than before yeah. because of this COVID thing that we all had to deal with throughout this year. Mm. So um, that could also lead to increased family conflict and and other conflict and this makes it a very stressful time of year at the best of times so those are some of the reasons some people uh, experience uh, uh, feeling down and not just feeling down uh, uh, actually downright depression over this time of year. And like we said especially our older people you and I were talking off air how how absolutely sad it is that so many of the elderly yeah. are thrown away or just pushed aside by their children mm. or their grandchildren um, and especially this time of year it feels just feels so much worse yeah so yeah those are those are some of the reasons uh excessive commercialization of the season you know how what a pain we all get when it's the first of october and you walk into the chain stores and they're playing christmas carols and and the the those stupid lights and and the glitters the, <laughs> stupid oh, lights I, I, I actually don't want to buy that i just cannot fathom um you know and, and that that just also leads to irritation and yeah. nobody likes it i don't know why people are doing it I, mm. it must have some psychological effect a uh, yeah. uh, positive effect on the buying for the for the stores um and there's also too much focus on gifts and and uh, social activities which have to be in in inverted commas so uh, perfect you know um so this triggers people to engage in this excessive self-reflection, people mulling over life, mulling over love and everything else. And, and your, your own shortcomings or inadequacies just seem so much bigger and so much more in your face, you know, if you're comparing yourself to others, which is what this kind of thing leads us to. All these excesses, it makes us compare ourselves to ourselves to others more than usual and then I just need to interrupt myself and say that that comparing yourself to others is the the foolproof recipe for disaster mm. you should never do that you should actually 
actively combat that. Yeah. You should actively only compare yourself to yourself, mm. to who you were yesterday. That's it. You're comparing yourself today to who you were yesterday. That is healthy. Any other form of comparison is unhealthy and should be avoided. Mm. Mm. Now, what are we going to do about the situation if there's somebody who is listening to us feeling alone, um, feeling anxious, feeling stressed, feeling depressed? Take care of your money worries. Um it sounds like I'm callous about it. I'm not. I thought this through very carefully. First of all, try and identify what is causing you financial stress. Not just now, but usually. Now your financial stress may just be quite a bit highlighted. So plan ways how you can reduce your spending. You know, you do not need to buy uh, family and friends uh, gifts. You can organize a secret Santa and and do something. If you really want to give something, you know, do do something that you've made or baked yourself, you know, or created yourself. Keep it simple. Keep a a a, a, a money limit on what you're going to spend. Um, you know that children, especially if you have grandchildren or uh, uh, children who are younger, um, they don't need gifts. Children need time with somebody who cares for them. Children need you to put away your phone and to sit with them and uh, play a game with them or watch a film with them or take them and uh, take a nice walk um, to where there's nature, where you can watch some animals, perhaps. Do that. That is worth way, way more than money. If you're going to ask a child, what do you want? They won't say that because they don't even know that it exists anymore. So you will be the surprise auntie or uncle or mom or dad or oma or opa who can do this wonderful thing for the child. And you know, Maya Angelou said, people will forget what you said to them and uh, they will forget how you treated them, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Yeah. And that I think is something we need to focus on. How are we making each other feel? There are many also now, my next point, low cost ways to have fun. If you're going to have, listen, this is South Africa, the sun is shining, it's December, we having brides, make it a bring and bry. Mm. People bring things to bring a bride. People must even bring their own drinks. You bring the salad. You bring your meat. I'll bring my meat. Somebody makes a pudding, uh, a trifle or a, 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 a malva pudding. And do that for a Christmas lunch. It, the, gone are the days where people have to uh, be the one who caters for the whole chadunta all themselves. Oof, That's yeah. ne no, so not necessary. It's way more fun, much more interesting uh, if everybody brings their little thing. Um, people are getting together for the company, you are not to be fed. It's yeah. like people flying on the aeroplane and then being so worried about what meal they're going to be served. I could never understand that. You're not <laughs> flying to eat, are you? <laughs> You're <laughs> flying to travel. It's the same thing with this getting together. The company is also very, very important. It's at least 60%. The food is 40%. So there's no need for you to, to let money cut you off from family and friends. And it, it, no need to go to an expensive restaurant or cocktail bar or whatever. Organize your bra and the park or at somebody's home then something else we spoke about um i think it was last week the family tensions yeah. right um yes so these unresolved conflicts may contribute a lot to the christmas anxiety or the christmas depression family and the relationship problems are also highlighted over this time of year. Mm, yeah. So I just want to brush and touch on 
Um, some of the things we said last time that you should set realistic expectations. You know, you're not going to expect of this person who barely speaks to you throughout the whole year to now suddenly be nice to you because it's Christmas. Hmm. They're not going to be. Yeah. Um, I I want to remind the listeners that that um, you know put put your uh, big old panties on, be the least. Try and help out as much as you as you can. Um, you know, keep a positive spirit. Keep in mind when the end time or end date for this gathering with people that you don't enjoy much is. Put your children first. You know, it's uh, people harm their children in ways that they don't even know if there is uh, fighting and animosity over Christmas time, especially where everybody is together. Um, then drink in moderation for crying out loud. <laughs> Please just drink in moderation. Yeah. Please. <laughs> you can't drink in moderation. Please consider they're not drinking at all. You are just going to make life so much more difficult for yourself. <laughs> And then managing the loneliness, uh, that, that for me is the biggest one uh, leading to the depression of Christmas time. Um, connect uh, online or, or by phone if you have no other choice, if you can't physically um, be with people, connect online or by the phone. Uh, don't shut yourself off. Um, if possible, a very nice thing to do is to volunteer. I've done that once or twice where you uh, join a church group or uh, uh, a women's group uh, who are serving uh, little lunches. F find out. Go onto Facebook. See what is happening in your community um, or join your, your uh, religious group. See what, what they are doing in the community. It's going to be up to you to actually go to the trouble of finding out what is going on and how you can help. And you know, not only will you be with people uh, for at least then Christmas Day or being part of the, the lead up to um, the, the volunteering a few days before Christmas. Now is a good time to start. But also giving to others makes you feel so great. It's, it's actually, for me, nicer to give than to receive. It's wonderful yeah. and, and you'll be fulfilled. Um, one always feels good when one gives and it doesn't have to be money time and your effort and your energy or a shoulder for somebody to cry on or an ear to listen to somebody. So, yes, get involved in your community events. Make plans for Christmas Day. Don't sit at home waiting for the plan to come to you. Mm. You are the one who now needs to reach out. Develop your plan in advance. Start today. You still have a few days to go. Make yourself a special brekkie. Do some things that are that are um interesting and out of the ordinary for you and then go and attend something um, that is even free events or uh, like you live near um, the coast and near the beach you know maybe there are some events there that you can attend uh, or like I said your religious group or your your church I think it will be most prob probably be your church in this time so, yes, reach out. And then just the last thing that I can highly recommend is making sure that you stay healthy physically over this time. So, you know, when people are uh, depressed, um, the uh, sleeping habits uh, could, could become all muddled. So try and go to bed more or less the same time every night. Try and get up uh, the same time just so that you keep your, your rhythms the same, mm. uh, so that you don't mess too much with your rhythms. Try Try not to overeat and overindulge in any way, you know. See, no, it's never nice to go too much food or too much alcohol. Um, it's just 
it's just going to mess you up the, the next day. And then you feel even more depressed or even more anxious. So he's just keep it, keep it real, you know, and, and look after yourself, hydrate. Like I said, it's summer in South Africa. Uh, take your walks. Please just do it safely. If you're in, in Johannesburg, yes, always that one. Keep it safe, um, and and try and uh, just just uh, stay in 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 check with yourself. You know that thing that I always say: sit with your feelings and feel them. They are meant to be felt, and if you see that you are not coping. Call someone, there's Lifeline, there's SADAC, call these people if your symptoms are too much for you to handle, if they are long lasting, um, if you feel you, man, even if you're just depressed for three days and you want to call SADAC or Lifeline and talk to these people, they are out there, they want to help you. Mm. There is no need for you to um to feel isolated or depressed. Yeah, take take the first step. It starts with you. Reach out. I just want to say uh, Merry, Merry Christmas uh, to all our listeners. And, and my wish is that nobody will feel isolated or alone or down or anxious or upset over this time uh, my wish is that that people will be able to connect and that um yeah just peace and and kindness will will see us through this time into the new year yes into the new year also merry christmas to you heidi and to your family i know you're probably spending time with them over the christmas time Hope it's yes a i am i love time. them it's wonderful i'm i'm grateful yes thank Fantastic. you and thank you for you eon for all the chats and and i wish you well over this time a blessed blessed christmas to you and to you heidi thank you so much it's uh, always great talking to you and and uh, so insightful. And uh, yeah, I, I do think we are way too materialistic over this time uh, during Christmas. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, share the love, you know, stuff we can't put a price tag on. That's it. That's it, Eon. That's the spirit. That's Absolutely. the spirit. So next week, that's our final chat for 2020. Can you believe it? We'll be talking about yes. uh, goals for 2021. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Looking forward to it. You, you, uh, listeners have to tune in. This is super important. Oh, so yes. So I'm looking forward to talking to you next week. Then. And to you, Heidi. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye.